even though I got plenty of space for it to be doing at least the bare minimum on these other backup phones, this is what it's doing when I went to upload. That's actually a video that I took of the screenshots on this phone that I'm now re-recording a video on because it won't let me piece together things because I was going to uh, take a clip off that Nate guy's comedy about the plane being in the driveway and how, oh my God, I wanted to show Davey. Uh, Gary was our guitar player. Back in 2005, his wife, ex-wife, called and left a message while we were playing that said, the plane is in the driveway. And I was like... Of course, at that time, still fresh on our minds would have been terrorism, which is what I'm pretty sure someone moved some pieces around of stuff that wasn't even my crime originally 30 years ago, and then what my first ex-husband admitted lying about in 1996, and then they put it on a higher level watch list from what I can gather. I don't have official documentation to fight, and I cannot fight what I'm not aware of. But enough people have unofficially acknowledged it. That I knew I was right from day one when I first started getting gaslit. And everything I said and did in private was spread through the grapevine around me. Through good people sometimes too. That's when I knew something was up because they wouldn't do that to mess with me. But someone else that was hiding like a little coward to cover their own crimes was the person doing that. So I still don't have real good answers. But I have some pretty good suspects in mind. Actually bad suspects but pretty good idea. Anyway... This is going to come back. Let me see if I can back out of here and I'll show you what it actually did. Because I recorded it on my, let's see, gallery. Now it says I don't have an internet connection. It's going to say that's why. That's not why. My internet connection is fine on there. It still says it's connected. But it's trying to mess with me. But yeah, this is what it was. I was trying to recapture that from the that Nate comedian guy that said that he didn't think his wife could make it even if the plane was in the driveway and I was like oh my god Davey do you remember we were here having band practice and Gary's wife called and the answer machine picked up and she said the plane is in the driveway and we're like I didn't know what to make of that and I thought is this another thing that those people were hinting terrorism stuff because our SUV was a New York program call and then again maybe she was just on drugs I'm not sure I know her daughter don't like me and tried to anger manage me she even she even sang the I feel pretty song from anger management after making fun of some coincidences like oh my god me and my friend had this coincidence and a bunch of stuff so I still don't know if she is the one that was trying to gaslight me or if it was part of other people that have been hiding like cowards behind other people and using them to try to gaslight me and push my buttons. And I'm, at that point, I was just like, is she seriously making fun of my belief in spiritual synchronicity and coincidences from God? Because whatever, that's her problem. When it's more direct like that, I can usually blow it off because I don't care if she don't like me or not. You know, it's not really right. But I've not been invited to like two other family functions since that happened because that's his step cousin step cousin cross reference is also my first ex husband's cousin because remember both families are married in together so when that all went down together someone else was probably allowing it to look like it was them and they were only part of a small part of it which my first ex-husband has since admitted to me. And both times he goes to jail, so he doesn't get to show me paperwork. I don't get to have any way to address what's been done wrong to me. And then if it goes back 30 years ago, and that's other group of people that were having that little... I mean, they were involved in drugs for sure, but they have also admitted doing some of those things. They haven't admitted that something legal was actually taken like to court or that any statements were made but if it was if it says I was involved I only rode around with my classmate who drove a similar vehicle a short while I only got one kiss from the guy in the back seat before she made him get up front I don't know what happened after I, I got out but I can piece together and I'm pretty sure that I do know what happened and I would like my tri-gold chevron necklace that the other guy trying to put his arm around me must have taken that night 
And I'd like to know, because if there's something on that statement, that was a forged identity. They never questioned me.